Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Reiki with Anna. For today's video, we're going to be focusing on Reiki for stressful times. I want to make sure that this video is very calming and very supportive especially for this time that we find ourselves in right now. But I also want to make sure that this video and this by proxy Reiki session can be useful to people, to all of you, during any stressful time. I know that many of you, mainly because this is a video based on a lot of your comments, I know that many of you are going through incredibly stressful times before all of this kind of general universal stuff started happening. and. There's a date on this video and in the description box, obviously. I'll explain more about that, but for this video, I would just generally like to, if you're watching this in the future, I mean, for this video, I would just generally like to create a safe, grounded, relaxing, soothing space for stress. A lot of the videos that I've um, done, I felt like could flow pretty easily into one another. And I love, obviously, love all of your comments down below. I mean, especially after the last video, everyone was incredible, incredible to one another, incredible, just so loving and supportive and beautiful. So I want to make sure that, well, number one, we, I, I honor that space in the comments and I vow to keep it a safe and supportive place as, as much as I can. And I would also like for you to know that if you've ever requested a video, I'm working on it. I think this video could pair fairly well with my two panic attack videos, which were as well inspired by your comments. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Go to betterhelp.com slash Reiki with Anna or use the link in the description box to get started and receive 10% off your first month. BetterHelp has licensed therapists who are certified by their state's board to provide therapy and counseling. You will then be asked a series of questions to help connect you with a counselor that's just right for you. 
It's accessible worldwide by using your computer, tablet, or mobile phone. Basically, whatever you're watching this video on. Through video calls, phone calls, or even text messaging. BetterHelp also has group in our sessions every single week where members can learn in groups directly from licensed counselors. They cover all sorts of topics from relationships to ways to overcome anxiety. Based on your amazing comments, I know many of you struggle with issues like these. It's $65 a week and financial aid is available as well for those who qualify. You can apply for that during your sign-up process. You will then be asked to specify what kind of counselor you would feel most comfortable with, and you write in all your current issues. Within 24 hours, you will be matched up with a counselor that fits your needs. I'm so excited and grateful to have partnered with BetterHelp. They're an amazing resource, especially at a time like this, for all your mental health needs. If you do check them out, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. If you are in a personal crisis, I have also included a link below to a mental health crisis center. One of the aspects of therapy that has always intimidated me, and I know intimidates a lot of people, is going to someone new someone that you don't know, a place that you've never been, that you're unfamiliar with, and BetterHelp is an amazing solution for that. You can do it from the comfort of your own home, and I think that's a really beautiful thing because you're kind of getting straight into what you need to delve into, and you don't have to sort of spend time getting comfortable in the environment and with the person because there's also such an incredible kind of vetting system that goes on uh, the preamble to finding and matching you to a therapist it's basically online counseling and it's fantastic I tried it and I just think it would be really beneficial for you all I also think during these times that we're in right now, where a lot of us are having to work from home or to participate in social distancing and all of that, I think it's a really incredible opportunity to have that kind of, you know, very personal, intimate counseling in a safe and healthy way. You can do it from the comfort of your own home, emails, phone calls, whatever feels best. So, I don't know, I just thought you might like it. It's, for me, very, very exciting that they've, they've so generously agreed to offer a discount to all of you. Check it out down below if that interests you at all. Now, on to our video. This video is meant to be a very relaxing, very soothing Reiki session. I imagine that, or kind of hope, that it would pair well with sleep, or right before a deep meditation. So. Not sure if you can hear the rain, but it's raining here again. And so you're going to be hearing a 
little bit of rain throughout this and I hope that's okay. So I will light my incense, we'll set our intention and then we'll begin the session. First, let me show you what stones we'll be using. First up, we have selenites. Selenites we use in almost every video. Clears energy blockages and promotes purification. Clear quartz is the most powerful healing crystal. It amplifies energies and is known to attune you to your wisest self. How light is associated with patience. Patience, calm, and serenity. It's fantastic for reducing stress. Amethyst is a very powerful spiritual stone. It protects against negative attachments. Blue calcite. This is the first time I've used this stone here. It's very soothing and relaxing. Helps to de-stress. And it transmutes energy to be recycled into useful energy. Gotta love that. Yellow Jasper such a happy stone. Promotes self-confidence, self-worth, and courage. Tiger's eye. This is such a great stone to help release anxiety and stress. And it also promotes harmony and understanding. Petrified wood. Petrified wood is deeply grounding and healing. It helps to soothe stress and it promotes patience, just like the trees. Okay. So, back to our conic incense. So, Song of India, India Temple, Incense Cones. Luna Nate gave me these and <laughs> there's only one left. Thanks, Jillian. It's a good sound. ignite the symbolic power of Reiki that is passing between us at this time so that we seal our intention here and then see it through time and space to where and whenever you happen to be receiving this distance Reiki session. I would like to set an intention on behalf of your wisest, most empowered selves in loving comfort and perfect balance. For soothing you during stressful times. for calming a troubled mind for inviting patience patience with yourself and 
we're all on different paths and, you know, we can't compare ourselves to others and we can't, you know, change where we are. So let's not judge it. Let's just uh, appreciate where we are. And if this applies, just inviting a deep understanding that our worth is not based on our to-do list, on the ticks on our to-do list. We are so much more than that. Your worth is not tied into your productivity if this applies. So, I'm just going to use this incense and just sort of clear the air around in case there's anything icky. This is where we'll start our cleansing. Now I will just be using this to draw the sacred Reiki symbols. Be muttering them under my breath. And then we'll begin. Okay. This is far away from you again. And this smoke is very soothing. It's not, um, see I'm breathing in and out. And it's closer to me than it is to you. There's nothing uncomfortable about this, just so you know. So I have my trusty little bottle that I change out the spray every few days. And this one I've done lavender and tea tree oil. It's really, really soothing and calming. I keep this lavender essential oil by my bed and every night I drop a little, do a little drop um, on my sheet by my head and I just think it's really, really beautiful and soothing so I hope that you can imagine it and it can be soothing for you. I'm going to spray my hands and then I'm going to spray around you. <sighs> smells so good. Lavender. 
lavender and tea tree. I love tea tree oil. Just to your side here. To this side. I'm not getting you wet. Just inviting some movement into your aura. Above your head. And down by your feet. Just a little Hey, what's up to your aura? Little intro <laughs> Cool This is where we're going to be working, so Just a little warm up that energy around your body. <laughs> now I'm going to be using these selenite wands. I'm going to just run through your aura with them both. They were charged in the last full moon. They've, uh, have I used them? Yeah, I must have done that. But, uh, well, maybe I haven't used both, actually. I don't think I've used this. this is the bigger one. I don't think I've used this one since. But it's, uh, they feel especially powerful right now. So I'm just going to start at your crown and work my way down. We're just going to kind of be going like this. All right. This is to very gently cleanse and purify your aura. your energy field. So now we're just at the throat, clearing and cleansing Just making sure to remove any thoughts here in perfect comfort that aren't serving us anymore. Thoughts perhaps pertaining to stress, thoughts perhaps pertaining to your response to stress. Thoughts that might lead 
to feelings of guilt or inadequacies or anything like that. I'm not removing anything that would be useful or could serve you, only removing that which is no longer helping us, is no longer of service. Okay, and we're creating like just a clearing, moving through down through the heart center. Solar plexus. That's a big, big component here. Sacral. Just clearing anything that we don't need and the root so often during stressful times we can feel unsafe and you know that's valid stress you know, if, if we let it, we can use it as a tool to better understand ourselves if we let it. So, I think from my perspective at least, there's a little bit more to it than just stress bad and we should eliminate stress completely because stress is a great indicator of a lot of things. Stress is, can be incredibly valid and, and all of that. So an example of the kind of stress and also thought patterns around stress that I, I'm i sort of inviting you to clear or just kind of trying to purify and turn into something a bit more useful or more the example that came to mind was uh, you get an email from your boss and you think to yourself, and there's nothing specific, it's a vague email, but you think to yourself, oh, my, my boss doesn't think I'm doing a good job. My boss is disappointed in me. I didn't do that right. Why didn't I do that right? Why can't I do things right? I never do things right. I've never done things right. I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to get fired. I have to start looking for a new job. I have to do, you know. Maybe that's useful, but also I invite you to release that. Because, you know, clearing and cleansing assumptions. It's a nice practice. And that way, our bodies and our minds and our etheric fields can be prepared when we are faced with the stressful situations that we have to respond to. That's not to say that we shouldn't prepare ourselves and be, you know, prepared and ready to take on challenges, but you, you, I hope you know what I mean. But we're just clearing what is no longer serving. Okay. I'm just going to spray this just to 
bit around you just to make sure that any stickiness is cleansed. Now I'm going to be saying the five Reiki precepts. I find these precepts very empowering. I like to incorporate them in sessions and I love inviting them into my meditations. So again, as usual, if any of these don't feel empowering, then please leave them. I know I say that a lot, but I truly mean it, and I think it's important for me to reiterate that. It, it really, really, I, I want you to find what works for you, so if this isn't working, then uh, please, I urge you to try something that might work better for you. So as I say, these five Reiki precepts, you may either Repeat them after me, either to yourself or aloud, or you can just listen to me say them. Let the words wash over you. Just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will be honest. Just for today, I will be grateful. Just for today, I will be kind. Now, as far as the stones go, for today I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently than I have in the past. I am going to be taking the stones and instead of placing them on your chakra points, I'm going to take the stones and move them through your aura. I just thought I would do something a little bit different and this felt really good for me for this kind of session. So the first ones that we're going to be using are these clear quartz points. These were actually given to me by Lunanate as well. So I love these empathetic warrior points. And I'm just going to start at your crown and I'm going to move my way through your aura and the final stone that we will be working with today is a very grounding stone. So I figured this would be a really nice way of inviting all of this energy and using these stones and their vibrations to enhance your etheric field and get things moving. 
and do it with movement itself as well. So we're going to start at the crown, okay, with these little points. And I will be drawing symbols and also just sort of weaving them through your aura, down through your chakra. So you can almost picture, like I said, like weaving its way through your aura. And almost imagine kind of like, I love the idea of rewriting things. Moving to your throat here now. So like rewriting throat is associated with Conscious thought, expression, communication, truth. So what do we want to rewrite here? What can we rewrite here? I invite you to take this on and fill in the blanks. What do you want to rewrite? in your conscious mind are there any thoughts that you want to rewrite? any thoughts that pertain to stress or stressful situations or stressful triggers? <laughs> whatever you can think of What do we want to invite in, in terms of abilities here? Stress can make us feel like we don't have the ability to do anything, that we are incapable of acting, capable of acting rationally. Tricky, tricky. So we basically just want to have the power to rewrite our mental patterns. Next up, we'll do Howlite. Great stone for stressful times. It's so soothing, so relaxing, so calming. I think Howlite and lavender together are like melatonin. <laughs> Just like zunk me right out. And just moving this sort of like 
through you're almost like just projecting that kind of very gently just sending this patient calming energy through your aura so that if you choose to go to sleep after this you'll be in a really beautiful place to do it also this uh, how light is perfectly paired with the clear quartz because if the clear quartz is too intense this how light is magical of these stones are like natural stress relievers and amethyst is no different it's very gentle and very soothing and I like to use it for sort of eliminating those things that feel toxic so any toxic thought patterns any toxic behaviors that you are participating in that might make you feel stressed out any toxic kind of relationships I like to use this to kind of soothe that and this one in particular is great because it's got a kind of perfect little thumb spot I'm not sure if you can see it maybe like that but you will have seen it in the close up so I'm going to be doing sort of the same thing just kind of drawing the symbols and the ideas like rewriting all this stuff rewriting our response and you can fill this in as feels appropriate to you if you feel like you need to have your relationship with fear rewritten uh, that's a great great time to do that you know when I'm going through if you would like to rewrite your relationship with somebody who really stresses you out this would be a great opportunity to do that almost like a mantra meditation like I'm not going to have I'm not going to allow that to affect me I'm not going to allow that to stress me you know, stress me out I'm not going to allow that you know and if you would simply like to use this to kind of uh, as, a, as a way of just soothing and um, maybe rewriting your history so not rewriting the future because that can sometimes cause a little bit of anxiety to throw ourselves into the future but if instead we want to say okay I have behaved like this and it was because of this and I'm no longer going to feel bad about it going to release any guilt that I have about that again with these broad topics and with speaking to many people at the same time can sometimes mean that certain examples don't work for everybody obviously. so if that's the case again take what serves you and leave with it okay and at the crown we'll begin Now coming through. Nice. 
And I'm just going to just kind of invite that rewriting right now. beautiful blue calcite it's a whopper and really amazing and beautiful and powerful and I like to sleep with this by my bed uh, I you know that works for me I would look into it if you'd like to put crystals near your bed um, but this has been working for me so far <laughs> and I think it's very calming very soothing very protective of our mental space as well as our emotions it's very protective in terms of our aura it really kind of invites a strong, powerful aura to protect us as we walk through the world. Even just if that means that we're going from our bedroom to the kitchen or to the dining room to work or whatever. That'll make sense for anybody who or some people who are watching this at the time it was uploaded. But anyway, I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to be moving it ever so gently through your etheric field again. And it should feel very soothing, very calming, and it's going to be building up a comfortable shield for you. So you're in a safe space to think, rest, relax, feel, meditate, starting up above your head. This piece of calcite is very raw. I would just invite you to be careful about raw stones, if, depending on where you get them. And because they can be sharp physically, they can actually so just be careful of that. This is really my first large stone that I've ever had 
and I got a few, three large stones at a, like a gym show kind of thing. And I was really lucky to get them all for, you know, not much money, which I've never, you know, I, I didn't know I would be able to own larger stones. So I was really excited to share them with you. And again, if you want to rewrite anything here, anything that comes to mind, any feelings that you want to kind of work through, weave through, re... kind of weave together in a way that feels more harmonious. more harmonious. That is difficult to say. Okay. Now we have yellow jasper. I actually got this stone for one of my you lovelies who <laughs> I've been working with. And now I'd like to use it to invite all of this beautiful sunshine energy. Let's invite some joy and some happiness into this space. A reason to kind of quell that stress. Let's give us a motive, motivation for it. Just drawing the symbols over the solar plexus. Again, weaving this through, rewriting anything that comes to mind, 
just inviting more happiness, more joy. more positivity, more gratitude, okay. And, uh, and now I have some tiger's eye. And I'm going to be doing the same thing, moving through, weaving, kind of braiding this energy, drawing symbols where I feel called. this I'm really focusing on the sacral and the solar plexus and then on the root and for the root I'm just going on either side of the hips I'm kind of drawing like a little bow but like um that gravity is taking <laughs> so like a tie and the bow I don't know if that makes sense but just including all of these different chakras here Our first chakras. First view. Coming back up. You know, personal empowerment. You can do this. You got this. Okay. I think they have a really soothing sound, polished sounds, but particularly these ones. I love when they go click clack together. And now we have our petrified wood. I love this little little lady. So I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. Starting at the crown, working our way down. Any lessons from the earth? Ancient wisdom to call in in perfect benevolence and loving comfort. Sometimes we ask for guidance from, you know, the spirit realm or from the celestial father, but for this, let's call in some guidance from Mama Earth. Mother Man. And see like the roots of a tree that here and now sprouting from the bottom of your feet or whatever is making contact with the earth even if you're lying on a bed or something like that and you're not directly in contact but just 
Imagine roots coming from that place. So if you're lying on your bed, roots kind of growing out of your back or your side or your front, however you're lying. And going down through your bed, your mattress, through your bed frame, down through space and into the earth. Likewise, down through the soles of your feet, piercing through your shoes, down into the earth and really stabilizing and grounding you. So helpful for stress. Grounding. Now for this, I'm, I'm gonna start inviting bigger sweeping energy. I'll still get close and do some rewriting, but this is going to be bigger as we get closer to a close, bigger sweeping energy all around, reinforcing this big, beautiful, strong aura. So inviting all of that energy down, 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 down. And I would just invite you to, if you can, imagine any ways that you're able to ground your thoughts ground your feelings. Invite a little bit of imagination and creativity into ways that you can ground. You know, dancing. I mean, that sounds so cheesy, but actually, you know, in times when I have been really, really, really struggling, just having an amazing playlist that I can play that's specifically for that mode, that mood, it like, it really can ground me. If I just put it on and dance, it's like, I don't know, it's such a, it's so personal. It's what I, you know. It's finding these little creative ways of either convincing yourself that there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, um, I remember that hearing that trick about if you're nervous about something, you should chew on gum or or eat something because when you're chewing, your it sends signals to your brain that you are not in a dangerous situation. I don't know how legit that is, but that was sort of the, that's something that gets you thinking like, oh, maybe there are little ways that I can trick my brain that serve me. So just be open to that if, if you want to. <laughs> so just finding healthy ways of Reframing things. All right. Mm. 
I'm just going to be placing my hands through your chakra points, starting at the crown, sending beautiful healing energy. I'm not touching you, I'm staying far, far away. Either side of your head. Perfect respect. Comfort.
this very gently fluffing your aura. You're going to be so protected. I'm just going to spray a little bit just to seal everything. Big, beautiful, strong, safe, supportive. These sprays don't last very long, so I use them liberally. Okay, before we do our closing affirmations, I would like to offer just some ideas. So, if this is something that you are called to do, and if you are able to do it in a safe and conscious way, then maybe write down some of the things that you feel stressed about, and again, in the most responsible and safe way, you could burn them. Uh, so one way of doing that is, for example, in a bathtub that's filled with water so that you can immediately drop it in. But again, please use discernment here. If that's not something that makes sense for you in your situation, in your life, please don't do it, okay? And sometimes, yeah, because that can just like sort of that visualization can really help to transmute some of these thought patterns and some of these things that we feel very, very stressed by. So maybe we can trans transform the way that we respond to stressful stimuli, you know. And another idea just to chew on is uh, you could always have a little sacred receptacle for your, for these thoughts, for these things. You could um, write them down and bury them. You could write them down and place them in a little box. You could write them down in a, in a book that's like a little journal or something that's dedicated to this. Or you could just have a little drawer where you keep them. Or you could make little scrolls, you know, and then bury them or something. Um, just ideas. And I don't know, you might find them silly, so whatever, whatever works for you in addition to this. And during stressful times, I find that any grounding exercises are super, super helpful. Grounding visualizations, you can find so many online, and I'm happy to make some of those as well, uh, some of my med meditations, the grounding meditation, if you'd like that. I'm just going to comb through your aura one more time with our selenite, just to make sure we're getting rid of any stubborn, unnecessary gunk that's not serving us that we want to clear. Okay. 
and just using one, just using the big one. Ever so gently getting your feet and then coming back up. We never remove anything that is serving you. Only what is not useful. No one can, you know, you can't remove any of that without your consent. You'd have to be identifying it. Hope that makes sense. You are divine. You are connected. You are expressive. You are loved. You are strong and you are capable. You are creative and you are emotionally available. You are safe. You are safe. I want to thank you so much for being here. Again, if you are interested in seeking out professional um, therapy, then please check out BetterHelp and, you know, I would love to hear what you think. I really, really appreciate it, the service, so I I'm, I'm, was really excited that they agreed to partner with me. After this video, the next video is one that I'm really excited about. It's going to be very different from my typical videos because we're going on a field trip to uh, Joshua Tree with my lovely, incredible friend who has ever so generously agreed to donate her time and amazing talent to walking us through, guiding us through a yoga session for stress. So I thought that would be a really wonderful thing to do is to, in addition to this video, paired with this video, we have the spiritual aspect of it here. We've got better help as well. That's open to you if that's something you're interested in. So we have the spiritual side of things and also the movement. So, kind of trying to come at it from different angles and see what works for you and see what serves you best and all of that. Some people, you know, just have sort of different things that work for them and yeah, I wanted to offer just a few things so that you can choose. I bet I'm really excited about it. My friend's name is Mara. And she's a beautiful yoga teacher, and she runs a yoga studio in New Paltz, New York. It's called New Paltz Rock Yoga, I believe. And I've known her for years. She's one of my best friends. And I just felt really 
excited and lucky to have her around. So that's coming next and uh, she, the soft spoken stuff, she's just, she's so amazing and sensitive and nurturing and gentle. So I, I'm excited for, for that video which is coming out next. <laughs> I really hope that you're all doing okay. I want to send you all so much love and so, so, so much support. It means so much to me to have this platform and to be able to connect with all of you during any stressful time is so special. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you so, so much for being here and for your kindness and your tenderness and you all have a place in my heart. So, until next time, be well.